Chuck Moolah, and we tapping in with Ross the Boss, and I'm tapping in with Chuck Moolah News. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So, what are some things you know? Matter of fact, let the people know a little bit about Ross the Boss, cause it's a lot I don't know about Ross the Boss myself. So I'm trying to hear um, a little bit. I'm a hustler. You a hustler? A mother of three, and I mean. That basically speaks for itself. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, when you say hustlers, what what type of hustles are you into? I know you have like a lot of different businesses. For sure, for sure. Okay, so, um, a lot of people know me from the multiple businesses I have. Okay. Scrub that janitorial. Um, I'm also an entertainer. I have um a home decor business um that we'll be launching very soon. I also have my hair care business um with all hair products. And my main thing that I have right now is my clothing brand most relevant. Gotcha, gotcha. So my thing is, did you always know for years that you would have these many this many businesses going at one time in your life? Um not not going at one time, but all of these things are like things that I love. Like I right. absolute I absolutely love cleaning. Like I grew up started working at twelve years old with my um my mom and my dad, they had their own janitorial service. Matter of fact, where you from? What part of the city? I'm from? Algiers, West oh, Bank. All right, right, right. I ain't, see, I ain't, I'm from the West Bank, too. I ain't even know you from the West Real Bank. Real shit, see? though. Um, I'm from the West Bank or whatever. Right. Um, I started working with my parents when I was 12 years old. Um, and that right there alone just turned me into a hustler because, like, I really was getting paid weekly. Like, fuck, they wouldn't cut no corners or nothing with me or whatever. Right. So... I'm like, oh yeah, like this how this go <laughs> yeah. at 12 years old, like yeah. it's up there type shit or whatever. So, you know, that alone turned me into a hustle or whatever. Um, and like I say, I love cleaning. I was one of the best cleaners. My brother and them gonna get mad, oh, but you know, oh. but um, fuck, I was one of the best cleaners or whatever. Um, I love styling, like style, I don't care what it is, that's why I have you know, home decor business that I'll be launching soon. Yeah. That's why I have most relevant, which is my clothing brand, which, you know, I like to, I like to push it together. I don't right. just like sets or shit or whatever. Like I, either way it go, like I'm there, I could do it or whatever. And then, you know, like I say, um, what else I have? I have so much shit going on. Um, yeah. And a mother, I love my children to right, death. Right, like right. It, that's what it's all about. Like, I fuck with my children tough. Like, I'll be in my childish mode or whatever on some shit because, you know. Right. That's yeah, Having kids. a relationship like that with your kids, it goes a long way because I kind of had a relationship like that with my mother. Like, she was, like, almost like my friend. But, she, mm -hmm. you know, she got me right when she had to get me right. Thanks. But at the same time, you know, Big she kept thanks. that... You know that friendship with me too, too. But when I got older, it was a lot of stuff that I was comfortable with telling her because uh -huh. just that relationship right. that we had. You know, right, what I'm saying? right, right, right. So like for you, was it hard coming up, growing up here in New Orleans on the West Bank, or you know wherever you might have gotten, you know, got around it? No, it wasn't hard for me at all. It was like hard? I no, I, I was always a Joseph, people's person. Yeah. Fuck, the most fights I had was with my own goddamn daddy or whatever. So yeah, yeah. But that's something. That's something. <laughs> So that it wasn't hard for me at all or whatever. Like right. always, like I say, was a people's person or whatever. I always was a Joe so a little character type shit or whatever. Right. So no, it wasn't hard for me at all. So is it easy to stay focused in a market like New Orleans where, you know, for people who don't live in New Orleans, they think it's like <laughs> They don't know what it is. You know, it's real small, but it has a big name. So uh -huh. we, sometimes we get big egos, you know what I'm saying? But Okay, so when it comes to that part of All it, right, right, um, gotcha. I personally feel like, and I just always had this mentality, like, you can't worry about what people say, what people think of you. Like, my mama always told, like, that's why I am the way I am now. And she probably don't know this to this day, but right, she right. just always used to say, like, if you don't thank you the shit, nobody else ain't gonna thank you for you. You always supposed to walk in the room with your hair hell high, this, that, you know, different shit like that or whatever. You gotta have that confidence. Yes. Mm. So, and, and just me being as young as I was, I always, like I said, I always was stylish, like to put shit together, hook my uniform up, do anything or whatever type mm. shit. And... I just always knew I was fly. Like, I don't care what nobody think about right, me. Like, so nothing they think you. about me. Like, on Since you're a fly person, who's some of your flyest brands out there right now? You know, we're going to start with people in the city you think of. Whatever you, matter of fact, you do whatever you think. Wait, what you mean when you say fly? Like, some, brand? Fly cl some fly clothing brands. Most some... relevant. Like, what the oh, fuck? Right, right, right. My own clothing brand. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's true, yeah, it's true. You know what my I mean. own you know what shit. I mean. Like, I don't. 
It's a lot of different people, you know, brands I fuck with or whatever. But you only want to talk about shit. No, it's a lot of different people shit that I fuck with people, right. you know, most relevant or whatever. But, you know, most relevant. Right, right, Just right. Saying. So where could they get some of that most relevant at? I am most relevant dot com. All right, guys, you got the website. Instagram most dot relevant, and that's what it is. God. Do you travel a lot? No, I don't travel a lot. Why not? You know why? Let me tell you something. The reason I don't travel. All right, so I started dancing. All right. Right after my son was born, it had to. It, it wasn't it, right after, but he had to make one. Let me say this: right after his one, his first birthday. That's when I started dancing, right? Okay. Okay, when I started dancing, this is why I say, this is why I say, and I'm standing on this. Oh, Lord. I'm standing on this. <laughs> when I make it big, I'm fucking with the city. No ands, ifs, or buts. Because mm. I never had to leave the city because I wasn't getting no love or support. The city poured and showed so much love, so, so, so much support. To, I didn't have to leave. I'm good with saving. I know how to, you know, do shit or whatever. Like, I'm never going to live above my means. I'm going to do what I need to do to, you know, to make shit happen or whatever. And I never, ever had to, all that extra stuff that, you know, I know they'd be like, strippers do this, stripper. No, I only dance. Yeah. Always only dance. Yeah. That's it. And like I said, the city shows so much love and support. I had three properties. The city so much, so, so much love and support. So right. it's like, I, I've traveled. I worked different places. I worked in Atlanta. I worked in Tampa. Um, that's like the main two places. I never, you know, worked all over. But I worked in Atlanta. I worked in um Tampa a couple of times or whatever. But it's the city. Where is shit? You love it. You you here forever. I'm I, I'm here. I'm not gonna say forever because eventually I wanna, you know grow and branch off and stuff but i'm never gonna stop fucking with the city that's right, just that right. like that's just how i feel real shit it does have that feel and we, yeah. we it's kind of a hard journey because you know most people who do to get successful usually leave but you know it is whatever is for you is for you that's what i feel like you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like even like i just said eventually i would want to you know move or whatever right, and stuff right. like that but like i said also, the love and support that I get. To me, the sh I mean, of course, I done ran into some nicks and shit here and there or whatever. Yeah. But the good, to me, always outweigh the bad on any day. Gotcha. That's just how gotcha. I feel. All right. All right. So, Ross, what are some of your favorite places to eat here in New Orleans? Um, nah. <laughs> As y'all may know and may not know, I am a huge breakfast person. We ain't know, we ain't know. I'm big on purpose. I be needing my coffee, uh -huh. my grits, and all this good stuff. Bro, what whatever. you know? I just drunk like some Starbucks for the first time this week. I'm really? up, huh? Yeah, just drunk for the first time. That's bad. Uh, huh? I'm big on breakfast. Um, but any breakfast spots, like any any breakfast spots or whatever. In so the city, you gotta you gotta plug at least I, one or two. You know, you gotta let us know some. Um, cause I don't know no good breakfast spots myself. I okay, know. so they have this spot that's called um TikTok Cafe. It's in Metairie. Man, never heard of it. It's, it got some fun. I like that, you know? All right. I got to mix and mingle. Got me some grits and all that good stuff or whatever, whatever. Um, And then it's a little spot called Toast um, for breakfast or whatever. All but right. as far as, like, lunch and dinner and stuff like that, when I get hungry right, and, right, you know, right, stuff right. like that. Uh, Maros. All right. Neos. Yeah. Um, where else I be? I, I really be on wags Wag, on the West Bank. Wag, I like to grab me a plate. Um, where else? Oh my goodness! It's so I is a bunch of places I stop because I'm you know I like food. You gotcha, know? Gotcha. But I'm mainly like a huge breakfast person. But that's a couple of places. Um, I I don't know. I be all over. I make just be driving and google something or whatever whatever i'm close by you know and i like different vibes too so i'm always like somewhere different so right, right. no telling but so i have one more question for you um mm -hmm. since i know you say you're in a dance world mm -hmm. and i know you probably seen a controversial question online when it was asking um why artists never made it from new orleans since lil wayne you seen that no, I, I haven't seen it. Well, it, it's been something that's been going on in the hip-hop world over the blogs, basically saying that nobody ever made it in over 20 years since New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So, is there any upcoming artists that, that you like out of the city right now? Um, 
Hell yeah, it's a few of them that I like. Hell, it's a lot of them if I think about it. Um, of course we have to go with um the fam XP. Max P. Max P. Yeah. OBG Bang. Um, who else? We have. Oh my God, it's a bunch of people. Oh, like, you know, uh, Eight know? Nine Chris. Eight um, Nine Chris. Um, yes. Um, who else? Oh my, it's a it's a list of them. Like of you know, them. I, I I fuck with a lot of you know. And it's a lot of them. I got you. I got it's you. a lot of them. All right, so last year was a really, really rough year for a lot of people. How did the pandemic go for you? Was it, like, um, mentally hard for you? Was it fun? Was it cool? Was it, like, how was it adjusting to the pandemic and everything that went on? Oh, man. That's a funny question. Uh -huh. And this will make me a hustler. <laughs> awesome real shit. All right, y'all. <laughs> nah, for the pandemic, right, this was... Okay, we had them sat down, been out for a minute or whatever. So, boom, all right, everything got low for me or whatever. And I'm just like, okay, bam, I'm not tripping. Long as lights, water, that so type you, of shit. So, you on. actually had a hard time doing the pandemic? Oh, yeah. All no, right. listen, listen. Right, right, right. It, it, right? It, I can't remember the months, but okay. I'm like, okay, I ain't, I ain't tripping. We can't do nothing, can't go nowhere or whatever. And, you know. Fun shouldn't be going nowhere because I can't really move around or whatever. So yeah. long as my bills that big, I'm be a okay, right? Yeah. So when everything started getting low, I'm like, you know what? I sat there. I see everybody running these little games going on and stuff or whatever. So I'm like, oh, I gotta <laughs> see what this about. Yeah. So boom, I went ahead. I started playing. Yeah. My followers, they fuck with me tough. That's another thing. And when you true and honest. It brings more attention right. when you like. I don't care what nobody say. Like I can't cut no corners with nobody. I can't rob nobody. I can't so do none of this other stuff. The Ross you see on Instagram is the Ross you gonna get. Every That's day what you gonna get. I like I can't cut no corners. I can't. Ain't no capping. Ain't no capping. No like at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm, listen, boom! I started running my love, you know, games, doing my thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. Man, listen. <sighs> if you ain't get on that, then. You tripping. Right. I can't. Matter of fact, nope, I ain't even gonna say that. But let me tell y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a hustler. You're a hustler. Yeah. No cap. You, no cap. No cap. No type of cap. Right. Like, that's so that shit is still there. Type of, like, real shit. Like, right. I ain't gonna say too much, but y'all know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you was on Instagram during the pandemic, I was the queen of this shit. Gotcha, no gotcha. cap. I was the queen. And I was shooting them checks out to them people like that faster than the government. No right, cap. Right. <laughs> Staying up past. I, I think the latest I stayed up playing around or whatever was like fucking six in the morning. Yeah. I swear to God. It was raw. It was. Hey, get, it, get it popped. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get it. Troubles don't last always. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. So, you think this pandemic stuff almost over, bro? If I had to ask you, um, hopefully, huh? <laughs> hopefully, right. but from the sounds of it, I don't know. Right. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's this a tough one here. I don't know. So, do you have any like future business plans or anything you have left that you want to speak of or? Um. Anything you're working on? Yes, every I, everything I named, and like like I say, my main focus is most relevant. Uh -huh. That's my main focus, like uh -huh. to blow that motherfucker up. No well, hands up so much. Like, we'll definitely they gonna see me, like see that man. This bitch really stylish. Yeah. Like she really like you know. So okay. that's pretty much it. Let's see, let's get it. Yes. Keep, 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 keep watching, watching Chuck Moolah TV. TV.